Well, tonight we continue our special series on school food. Recently, the new school food was put to the test. Thousands of people were able to get a taste. School food reporter Jennifer Mandalay joins us now with a sample of all of this. Hello. Jennifer, hi. Here is your sample mm. all the way from Santa Barbara. Ooh. This is a yogurt okay. parfait. Many local schools now have yogurt bars mm -hmm. like salad bars. So fresh fruit. These are pluots, granola. Kids love it. So the school food team this past weekend on Saturday mm -hmm. hit the streets, passing out about a thousand of those. Oh. They're also hoping to spread the word that the new school food <laughs> is really good. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Healthy food gets a day in the sun at the Soul Food Festival. The streets are closed to open minds and build a brighter food future. <laughs> From farm to fork. We believe that our food system needs help. And we believe that when we empower our local community, our residents to support their farms, support their farmers, we believe it's a positive impact on our economy positive impact on our environment and a positive impact on our health. We work to support the school. Stepping into the light, the School Food Initiative, part of the Orfala Foundations. The team has been working to reform the school lunch tray for four years. Here to show they're still working. It's showing that we are really getting results. Lots of good food being served in the schools in Santa Barbara County. Serving thousands of yogurt parfaits. Okay. Topped with local fruit, and a message that healthy school food can taste good. Uh, you know, they see the messaging of school food, but then they're eating the food too, going, wow, this is great. Kids are getting this in the schools that are working with school food. It's really, it's, it's really quite transformational. With every sample, school food reform seems to sink in. But yeah, I remember the tater tots and the hamburgers, you know, and uh, I, I think we can definitely do better than that for our kids. You can feed them well at home, but you want them to have good choices at school as well. So I think that's, um, I think it's a great movement and I'm all for it. This is part of the movement. The mobile cafe is front and center. Normally it delivers fresh, healthy food to schools that don't have adequate kitchens. At the festival, though, it's all about free samples. People are loving our food today. We started early. I was like, ah, no worries. You know, who's going to eat a sopas at, at 10 o'clock in the morning? But people are ordering sopas right and left. A taste test getting surprise results. Some can't believe this is on the new school menu. That's a relief. Can you believe that? I'm going back. When the sun sets on this one day soul food festival, organizers hope they've raised awareness on the bounty of local organic food and nurtured relationships between farmers and food suppliers, giving all a healthy boost. Making some really good food with local ingredients. School food samples that hope to whet the appetites of parents about the bigger problem of highly processed lunch still served in many local schools. This is a small taste of what could be. Hmm. And more students than ever are now sampling the new school food. Okay, drum roll, Archer, are you ready? <laughs> mm -hmm. There are now 70 local schools that are back to scratch cooking oh, really? thanks to nice. the School Food Initiative. That's, That's a great. lot of yeah. schools. So very exciting. And now, time to dig into the reusable school food okay. bag and see what I brought you. Along with my parfait here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, taking a, a lesson from the Seoul Festival, okay. it's best to buy fresh from farmer's markets. I had never seen this before. What? Have you ever seen that? Um, in science fiction, maybe. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? These little cones. It's actually really beautiful. It's mm -hmm. like a flower. I'm told by the grower, this is called Romanesco broccoli. And That's if you, a broccoli? It is. It's a wow. broccoli. It kind of smells, you can mm -hmm. smell it, like a cauliflower and tastes mm -hmm. a little like a cauliflower. If you roast it, it gets sweet. And um, hmm. it's so neat looking that kids might actually eat wow. it. Wow. So there you go. It is pretty cool. Isn't that Thank beautiful? Thank you. Yes. I love it. Yeah. That's great. There you Excellent. Go. Thank you, Jennifer. You bet. And Jennifer will be back next Wednesday with another school food report. And the goal of the School Food Initiative is to empower and educate schools. And to learn more, log on to our website, kcoi.com, and click on the School Food link. You'll find a huge serving of healthy information on food reform and what's already being done in our local schools.